Hi, welcome to Reading for Fourth Grade. We're in Trails to Explore, pages 60 to 76. We're gonna start with um, some questions from the story that you re read last lesson. And the story was Wilbur meets Charlotte. Why was Wilbur crying? Why was Wilbur crying? He was lonely and he wanted a friend, right? And so that was why he was crying. Why did Wilbur search his pen in the morning? Well, he was looking for his new friend. And so he searched the pen. Why did Wilbur have such a hard time finding Charlotte? She was very small. And what kind of animal is she? A spider. This is the only spider that I like, is the one in Charlotte's web. What did Wilbur discover about his new friend that made him wonder if he could ever be like her? Well, it was because she trapped and ate insects and bugs and he thought she was bloodthirsty. And so that was, that was something that he didn't think he could ever be like her. And um, so we're gonna look, turn the page and look at um, we're on page 60. There's a poem, Farms. I'll read an introduction to you about the farms. How many of you have ever visited a farm? All right. My grandparents, well, really my grandma now, my grandmother, um, owns a farm. And so I grew up going there um, as often as we could. And um, you, also know that Miss Hecker grew up on a farm. Um, so the author of this poem describes life on a farm. So um, you'll read that one on your own and then the poem Dragonfly is next. Have you ever been sitting outside when suddenly a bug landed on your hand? If that bug was a mosquito or a fly, you would brush it off. But in this poem, the author welcomes a dragonfly. Okay, and you'll read that one alone um, on your own as well. Um, and then the story that we're gonna read, Captain Cook, how many of you have pet a cat? Or have a pet cat, I'm sorry. Um, and I think just Justin has a pet cat. Um, how many of you have a dog? I, you all have a dog, um, I do remember that. What about a pet fish? I don't remember if any of you have a pet fish or a pet bird. How about a pet penguin? I know none of you have a pet penguin. We would have heard about it before now. No one has a pet penguin. In the story, Captain Cook from Mr. Popper's Penguins, the Popper family is sent a pet penguin. And I'll read a little bit of that, but I do want to give the introduction to the last two poems before I read, because then I'll let you go ahead and do the reading. In Duck's Ditty, when we eat, we usually use a fork or a spoon to get the food to our mouths. God created the ducks to dunk their heads under the water to search for their food. It's very interesting. And then seals. Seals are excellent swimmers. A seal dives into the water in search of food, and before you realize it, he's back. The seals are really, really interesting to watch. All right, so I'm going to read a little bit of the start of Captain Cook. Life changed for the Poppers when Admiral Drake, the Antarctic explorer, sent Mr. Popper a live penguin from the South Pole. Call who, Captain Cook? Asked Mrs. Popper, who had come in so quietly that no, none of them had heard her. Why the penguin, said Mr. Popper. I was just saying, he went on as Mrs. Popper sat down suddenly on the floor to recover from her surprise, that we name him after Captain Cook. He was a famous English explorer who lived about the time of the American Revolution. He sailed all over when no one, where no one had ever been before. He didn't actually get to the South Pole, of course, but he made a lot of important scientific discoveries about the Antarctic region. He was a brave man and a kind leader, so I think Captain Cook would be a very suitable name for our penguin here. Well, I never, said Mrs. Popper. Gork, said Captain Cook, suddenly getting lively again. With a flap of his flippers, he jumped from the tub to the washstand and stood there for a minute surveying the floor. Then he jumped down, walked over to Mrs. Popper, and began to peck at her ankle. Stop him, Popper! Papa! 
screamed Mrs. Popper, retreat into the, retreating into the hallway with Captain Cook after her and Mr. Popper and the children following. In the living room she paused, so did Captain Cook, for he was delighted with the room. Now a penguin may look very strange in a living room, but a living room looks very strange to a penguin. Even Mrs. Popper had to smile as they watched Captain Cook with the light of curiosity in his excited circular eyes and his black tail coat dragging pompously behind and his little pinkish feet strut from one upholstered chair to the other, pecking at each to see what it was made of. Then he turned suddenly and marched out to the kitchen. Maybe he's hungry, said Janie, and I'll let you finish the story. You're gonna read from page 60 to 76, those poems at the beginning and at the end of the story and read the story. Um, when you get to the questions, go ahead and have somebody ask you those questions. Um, if you have someone available, if not, I'll be asking them in the next lesson. We'll see you next time.